because millions of women and girls every day are being discriminated against or treated badly because they're menstruating. So, the water is not a problem, but it may not be a problem. How do we solve the water crisis? How do we work together? 今天我们要关注的话题是经期健康。其实大姨妈不仅仅是一个女性私人话题，在这背后关乎着广大女性朋友的健康和尊严。而且月经贫困也已经成为一个世界性难题。消除月经贫困，中外该如何合作呢？我们今天邀请到两位朋友。首先欢迎联合国人口基金驻华代表康家庭博士，还有一位是快手博主、科学少女壳匠王红凯。So the first question is actually for Dr. Cozen. Uh, 28th of May is the World、uh, Menstruation Hygiene Day, and、uh, but a lot of people may be very curious that、uh, why there is such a day like this. Why do we need a day for something that is a completely natural biological process that happens every month for women and adolescent girls around the world? And and the reason for that is that even if we look in high-income countries as well as low-income countries. Millions of women and girls every day are being discriminated against or treated badly because they're menstruating, and this could be because of cultural taboos or stigma. It could be that they lack money to buy sanitary products. Maybe they can't go to school because they're teased. So there's a whole range of reasons why women and girls are unable to actually manage their menstrual health. With dignity, which we consider a human right, so this is why Menstrual Hygiene Day is so important. There is a very recognizable thing around the world right now. It's called、uh, period poverty. So, could you please firstly explain what exactly is period poverty? So, very simply, period poverty is when a woman or an adolescent girl doesn't have sufficient money. To buy the menstrual products or the sanitary products that she needs every month to allow her to manage her her menstruation.、Um, it also can be when the cost of managing her period, and that's not just sanitary products. That could also be the cost of、um, pain medication, or maybe she needs to buy new underwear. Actually, stretches her budget so far that it pushes her further into poverty. And I think what's important to say is that we see period poverty not just in the poorest countries; it's about the poorest women and girls in every country that tend to be affected. Ah,、uh, 接下来这个问题是问一下可匠有没有哪一些秘方，它其实是有误区的或者不正确的。现在我们能听到的，就包括身边的朋友说，以及网上那种特别流行的论调啊，那种所谓的经期保养秘方哈、啊。就是大多数不太靠谱啊，但其实呢，这些里面哈，呃，只有说可能是热的东西，热饮、热本身，还有热水、热敷这些，可能会对这个呃舒张这个血管有一点点作用，可能会缓解一点点的疼痛，但也不是适用于所有的人。所以喝热水确实没毛病，但是它可能没什么用。但是呢，近期有一个事情是真的真的不能碰的、不能做的，就是不可以手术，也不可以献血。嗯。呃，相对于我这呃，相当于我们这种那个普通的创作者来说哈，我们也只能是说呃，尽自己所能呃，去影响更多的人呃，去将正确的知识去让更多人知道呃，但如果是呃，中西方合作，可以到一个更高的层级上去的话，也可以触达到更多的人、更多的呃场景，就比如说呃，可以建立一些中外合作的这样的互助的项目。呃，去进校园，就比如在呃五月二十八号，像今天这样呃那个重要的日子，呃世界经济卫生日，呃这样的日子可以是有一些互助项目啊，一些活动，呃让所有的呃这个正在呃学习啊，呃正在建立自己认知啊这样的一群呃那个年轻人呃小朋友、学生，呃让大家都可以接触到这种正确的知识，呃从小就树立好这样正确的观念，呃也就是呃可以让这个。呃，比如说现在有的这个月经贫困、月经歧视，还有这种月经羞耻的这样的问题，呃，就可以消失在萌芽的一个阶段。And、uh, you have、uh, said in an interview that the United Nations has never needed cooperation as much as it does now. So what is the reason of that? So I'm sure many of your viewers have heard of the Sustainable Development Goals and Agenda 2030, and obviously. 
The year 2030 is only eight years away. And when we think about the global targets that have been set by countries all over the world, many countries are seriously off track. They're really not on track to achieve the commitments to the sustainable development goals. And one of the reasons for that is, is a lack of sufficient uh, financing being invested. So a greater investment um, in, in the sustainable development goal agenda is needed. However, it's not just about that. It's also about how can we harness new technologies, new innovation to really accelerate progress in those countries that are lagging behind. We've been here in China working closely with the government and other partners for over 30 years. Um, you know, we've worked on issues such as strengthening uh, maternal health services, and China has seen a phenomenal uh, increase and improvement in the quality of maternal uh, care in this country, and at the same time has seen a phenomenal decrease in preventable maternal deaths. We do a lot of work increasing access to sexuality education, so age-appropriate sexuality education for young people, whether in secondary school or college. Um, and we've also done a lot of work at both national and provincial level to um, support ending sun preference um, in China. And again, you know, this is another area where I think China has made incredible progress in terms of shifting away from a very strong sun preference to a much more gender balanced um, approach. And so as for uh, eliminating the uh, period uh, discrimination or menstrual discrimination, what we men can do? So I do think that globally we have seen a huge shift in terms of men who are in decision-making positions being much more willing to talk about menstrual health and to talk about um, you know the role that they can play in terms of making things better for, for women and girls. But we now need to see that done systematically all around the world. I think what's important about mental health and what we see coming out more and more is that you know some of those those older models of mental health support that we've maybe seen coming out of the West are not necessarily the right types of models that we need for um, particularly I think lower income countries or countries with slightly different cultures. Uh, 如果你的身边是有比较亲密的这样的呃异性的伙伴，就是比如说像是你的伴侣也好，你的家人、你的妈妈、姐姐、妹妹，呃，如果你可以更直接的给他提供到帮助，比如说帮他买呃